So, for the met post, I'm using a 3x3 met post. Now, there are a couple of options here. You can get the ones that bolt up like this, or ones that have ridges in the middle, and that will grip the timber as it goes in. However, I wouldn't recommend getting those. I always get the bolt up ones because you can either use a driving tool, or I just tend to cut a bit of 3x3 off cut, and this then slides in nicely as your driving tool, and then you can take it out. Very simple process. Met posts used on grass or soil, off cut, and sledge hammer. I position my met post where I want it. Now, a tip here. As I'm left-handed, when I drive down with my sledgehammer, just for some very simple but probably incomprehensible laws of physics, means that as I'm hitting, it twists slightly towards me. So what I do is do a eighth of a turn anti-clockwise, and if you're right-handed, do an eighth of a turn clockwise, so that by the time you finish, this will end up square. Okay, how to use a sledgehammer. Now, it may seem obvious, but it's, we've all seen cartoons, we've all seen Laurel and Hardy, when they're lifting the sledgehammer up and over their heads and down like that. A, that's dangerous. B, you're going to kill your back. Again, like with most tools, you let the tool do the work. As you've raised it up, gravity will do the work for you. You pull down with a bit of force, however, not too much because this thing weighs and gravity will pull it down and it will do the job for you. So let's begin. Tap the, there we go, there's a driving post and I am looking at having this vertical. So next thing I need is my level. You're gonna to have to adjust this as you go, but we'll start off by making sure we are level there. Now, if you're gonna work like a pro, you've gotta talk like a pro. And anything that is down, we call plumb. So you've got to make sure it's plumb. So we plumb up on that plane and give it a tap. And then we plumb up on this plane. and give it a tap. Okay. So the key to this is making sure that we tap it down bit by bit, but don't rush, and make sure that we keep it plumb as we go down, because once you've driven down halfway on this spike, you won't get it out again, or well, you will, you have to dig it out, and it's just counterproductive. So don't rush and let's start. So, why am I on my knees? Because if I'm up here, it's quite a long strike and there's a chance that I can miss. So, okay, it's a wet day, but I don't mind. I am just using little taps. Okay, see how I'm bringing it up maybe 18 inches, tap down. Now after a few taps, check for plumb, push it across. You can see there we're plumb. And check for plumb there, bring that across, and we're plumb. So once you've got it in position, tap, okay, tap, tap, tap. And you can see that weirdly, this is spinning around and it's getting square. Bring it down, down. There we go. So I need this to come towards me a little bit. Now with the sledgehammer, you would tend to push away, but I'm going to bring this into me, which will have the same effect as knocking the top over. So here we go. There, there.
perfect. Yep, spot on. And then we keep knocking it down until the flat bit here is flush with the grass. Right, let's have a look. Take that out. See, no real damage on this. That is super firm. If you look inside, you can see that the timber will be held off the earth. So it's not gonna rot. I'm using the treated end as well, not the cut end. Use the treated end so that that has extra protection. And then all you need to do is, one second, let's cut to height, plonk it in, spot on, and then we tighten up the bolts. How to install a fence post with a met post. For more tips and tricks, please subscribe below or go to www.buildingsheriff.com.